This is Jonathan Agger here for Pro Boxing Fans, joined by Hobie Price. Uh, just on the presser, you're back out in your home city this Saturday night. Uh, how are you feeling? Another fight this year? Yeah, you know, um, perfect fighting for Christmas, good way to end the year. Um, looking for another good performance this weekend and then uh, start moving towards the titles in 2023. How do you assess uh, the year for you so far? Obviously, uh, you had the fight in February, then a bit of time out in August. Disappointing? Uh, happy with it? I just take it as it comes, you know. There's been ups and downs. In my boxing performances wise, I can't knock it. Everything's gone smoothly. I've been improving in the gym, improving in my performances. Obviously, I had a little injury that put me back, but I suppose better to happen now than, than later on in the future. It's not like I had a big fight scheduled or all, so... Um, ups and downs but um, ready to get this one out the way and then just keep busy then next year. I think people sometimes forget how young you are as well like you've had quite a lot of fights for your age and I guess there's no real rush is it? No there's no rush at all you know I've only just turned 22 um, but I think it's because I've been in the spotlight from the word go like boxing on the Joshua undercard in Saudi I was 18, 19 and I've always been in the spotlight always been on a big show so um, I think that's where everyone thinks oh, he's, been, he's been about a bit but I'm still only young still taking my time and uh, like you say I'm only this will be my ninth fight this weekend so it's perfect time to start looking towards the belts now I'm going to put my matchmaker hat on for a second what about you and Dennis McCann down the line you know definitely it'd be, a good, it'd be a good fight down the line both two two travelling boys and uh, you know that's definitely a fight for in the future you know you, when you look at Andy Lee and Billy Joe Saunders how they end up getting on for a world title it's, it'd be unbelievable you know to to do that with him you know it, it, also a mate of mine nice kid but it's boxing we're in the same weight division but there's a, there's a lot of fights out there you know there's a, there's a lot of other champions in the super bantamweight division and the belts is swapping and changing all the time we're only young so um, whatever path I've got to take that's the one I'll take so whoever's got the belts that's who I look to fight obviously you're not going to look past Saturday but as you say next year all going well you're looking at, at the domestic guys the titles yeah definitely um, like you say I'm never one for picking and choosing who I want to fight it's more so who's got the belts what fights me promote can get me at the time so um, like you say I'll fight anyone man anyone at all the question I asked Dennis when I spoke to him a few weeks ago is if he could spar one guy uh, either here or abroad who would it be he went in Newey who, who would you choose that's exactly the same yeah. I think um, everyone knows in the division or round about these sort of smaller weights he's a scary and he's the biggest puncher about so we could aspire him see it see how good he really is see how far of a level he is in front or if he's not in front you, you never know until you test yourself against these good men so um, like you say there's a lot of us and we're still only young but um, I'm sure in the future we'll be hearing a lot more of our names I've got to ask you Hopi about uh, Saturday night Tyson Fury beating Derek Chisora uh, what do you make of the fight? Um, it was what it was one I think um, Fury was always going to do that I think but fair play to Del Boy, he's a, he's a tough man and he? he still didn't want to quit thank God the ref like pulled him out but um, more of a glorified spa for me what would you think of uh, Fury against Usyk how would you see that one go Usyk's an unbelievable boxer I've always said it but I just believe Fury's too big he's too big I think I don't think there's an everywhere out there to beat him at all and, and just finally uh, we spoke about Fury before and sort of the impact he's had uh, sort of on the community and stuff do you, do you ever speak to him and sort of what do you make of the impact he's had um, I spoke to him before yeah it's massive what he's done for obviously our community he's gone on he's done it become world champion Billy Joe Saunders has gone on and done it also so um, he's paved the way for us now there's a lot more of us sticking into it obviously like you say there's me there's Dennis McCann there's Charles Frankham Felix Cash there's a lot of us travelling boys start coming through now so um Hopefully we'll we'll get some more world champions. All right, I hope you uh, appreciate your time. Best of luck Saturday.